on air and in the community. Legend of the week. This week we'll be talking with uh, the uh, well, some of the guys from a group called Community, a yes. group that has started in the uh, in, well in the post COVID uh, era this year in April. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, joining us for our Legend of the Week segment this week, we've got uh, Tessa and Fina. Good morning. Good morning. Yandra. So you guys are based in Nandi, right? That's right. Okay, so um, uh, you know, Tessa, Fina, thank, first of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Not wasting any time, getting straight into the questions we wanted to ask you today. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what exactly is Community Teach and where did the idea come from? So basically, Community Teach, like our aim is to help children mm-hmm. to meet their education needs in a supportive, well-appointed environment, uh, using strategies that encourage them to become independent, lifelong learners, and connect other members of the community to establish a network of learning support providers within the families, homes, and local communities of these children. Okay, so, okay, uh, uh, Fiona, thank you for that. So, okay, like in terms of, of, of like real world teaching and all the kind of thing, what exactly does that mean? Say for, say, for example, like um, one of my children joined community teach. Right. What would that entail? All right. So we do, we provide learning support to local students. Yes. So each child would have a different learning support need, correct? Mm-hmm. So say there are some kids, you know, who would need learning support just to keep up with school, for example. And mm. that's uh, one of the main one of the main reasons why parents put them their kids in our online classes when the lockdown started, or at least when, when Fiji went into lockdown a few months ago. Now, when we expand, we want to also uh, provide application skills mm-hmm. to the students. So whatever they learn in the classroom, we want them to be able to translate. Ah. So, yeah, we want them to be able to translate and apply those skills outside of the classroom. So we want to provide um, enrichment activities where they get to um, simulate how these uh, how the things they learn from the classroom are supposed to look like in the real world. Oh, cool! Right. Cool. Okay. So, and and would you be able to share some stories of the work uh, you guys have done and how how it's impacted students so far? Anyway. Okay. So, community teach started in April this year. That was the time when. Fiji went into lockdown because of COVID-19, mm. if you remember. And all public schools had to close to comply with social distancing, if mm-hmm. you recall. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of those kids were, you know, they had to they had to study on their own from home using supplementary materials from schools. And that was a real struggle. Yes. yes. And a lot of parents were, com- and we noticed that a lot of parents were complaining yeah, very about true. teaching their kids, <laughs> you know, homeschooling their mm-hmm. kids. It's it's so difficult. Like mm. uh, I, and the, you, if you both have kids or one of you have yes. kids, you know how mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. how tough it is. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, we home. do. So uh, that the teachers at Colors noticed this, so we decided to open online classes for oh. local school kids. Mm-mm. So, so everything started off online with like Zoom classes yes. and all. Yes, and that's everything where... started online. Ah, cool! And, and that's where the idea of community teach was born. Yes. yes. So what we did was uh, uh, the the school we worked for, that Colors PG English School. Uh, we run online classes for our. International students, anyway. We run for uh, we want we run English classes for our Japanese students, and when the borders closed, uh, our students all had to go back to Japan. Mm. So the school provided us with uh, equipment to run classes uh, to run virtual classes. Oh, cool, nice. So with these resources, including the data, they they pretty much just um, equipped us with everything we needed. To keep the classes going, we decided, you know, we'll like let and our our company is um, a very big component of what we do is uh, community uh, community work, mm. and we do volunteer uh, we do volunteerism as well. So we decided that you know, as a volunteer component for our online classes, let's run virtual classes for the local school kids as well. Ah, cool, cool. So that's how Community Teach uh, started. And uh, yes, the demand for those classes uh, rapidly grew. <laughs> like it became quite overwhelming for us. So many, <laughs> like literally hundreds. Seriously? <laughs> wow. Hundreds of um, 
parents were um, messaging us. And unfortunately, because we want to keep the high quality of our learning support, mm. mm-hmm. like what was the maximum number of students you would take, Tina? I had um, five. Like your maximum was yeah. five. Like oh, my maximum good. is eight. Oh. Like any, any, any number beyond eight, I would have to, you know, say I'm sorry, but I need to. So, so that yeah. means each each yeah. child receive like they got, yes. they got the full, full attention, attention they deserve. Right. Yes, yes. So, oh, that's Tina, good. she takes five. Huh? Yeah. So we want to. Am I right, Tina? Like you have to give like specific attention to yeah. each child. Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. We have to specifically um, address the need of each child. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's how good. learning support works. Okay. Uh, so then, yeah. just 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 uh, what are some of the things uh, you guys have learned since starting our community the community? Teach? That a lot of kids. Are can um, the law a lot of kids can answer this, mm. mm-hmm. but would find it difficult to translate those answers into the real world? That's one, right? right. Yes, yeah, like, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of them can just um, many, many students can, um, can, uh, can recite from a textbook, right? right. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 but, yes. Uh, but to apply it, eh? yes, but to to. To turn that into something applicable to the real world was... That's the problem. That's the problem. Yes, it is right. kind of a problem. And uh, that requires a lot of critical thinking and a lot of creative thinking. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember when I ran a science class online, and I actually set up... Uh, I set up a, like a like experiment online for them to, you know, to just use critical thinking skills as to what would happen. Uh, that was a... What was that? that was, I think that was year seven or year six science. And mm. I put up materials in front of me. We studied the textbook and, uh, okay, what are miscible substances, what are soluble substances, and so on. And I put this up, I actually put the substances in front of them, well, virtually. And I asked them, okay, wh- what do you think these two substances will combine? Do you think, uh, what will happen if I combine these two? What about these two? Like a lot of them found it, um, or at least they were too shy to answer, to give their yeah. answer right. because yeah. they couldn't find it in the textbook. Right. Ah, that's, that's a big problem in Fiji, okay. that, that rote learning that we get taught yeah. in school, right? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah. So uh, while I'm sure they had answers in their head, mm-hmm. I'm sure they even had correct answers in their head, they were very hesitant to give an answer because... Mm. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe it's wrong because it's not in the textbook. textbook. Right. right. Man, uh, T- Tessa and Fina, yeah. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just, just, just one more thing. The crowdfunding that you guys mentioned. Uh, could, you just, could you just share, the, share a little bit about, about that with us, please? So, so we're, on, um, we're on this uh, platform called, called Start Some Good. Uh, we were, actually, we, we applied for a grant some months ago with UNDP. Hmm. And uh, we didn't get the full, like, we didn't get the straight up um, grant, hmm. mm-hmm. but we were finalists. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So as a finalist, we were given an opportunity to work with this platform to start a crowdfunding campaign online. Okay. And uh, yes, so startsomegood.com works on, uh, works on social innovation. Oh, Cool. Cool, yes. and, and, so, you, and you guys are on that platform right now. Yes, so we're on that platform right now. We're trying to raise um, seven thousand Australian dollars hmm. because we want to move community ch- offline. Right, it's, right. A, it's all okay. virtual right now. Okay. Eh? Yes, because right. Uh, in fact, we stopped community. Ch- we stopped the online classes when the local schools reopened. Okay. So that was around June or July. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because we thought there won't be any more need for it, hmm. you know, because they're back at school. I guess we sh- we shouldn't be surprised, but we still kept getting messages from parents and students asking for more learning support classes. Ah, cool. So we decided, you know, why don't we see if we can get any funding for it? And now we're crowdfunding. We want to raise seven thousand Australian dollars because um, our school, Scholars uh, PG English School, has a uh, has Offered the use of the classrooms in the office right. to Great. actually bring the schools uh, to actually bring the school students in. Nice and do it live and provide them resources and um, 
resources such as, you know, stationaries and books and uh, uh, the technology because we'll have we'll have our equipment there and so on. So, and you know, how where would you a where, well appointed environment for it? Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, sorry, where would you find the link to the uh, the, the the crowdfunding uh, mm. uh, thing? Okay, so on Facebook, we are on Facebook. Mm. You can look for Community Teach PG. Right. Okay. Yep. So and it's right all there. there. Yeah, the ah. post there. We are on. Uh, oh, okay. Our pin post there is the link to our crowdfunding. So you know, we would like to have PGNs involved because this is a this is a community focused project. Right. It's for local school mm. kids. So we were hoping, you know, the listeners would check out our our um, page. Facebook page and click on the link and donate. I right. mean, you can donate as little as one dollar. All right, nice. All right. Well, you know, what, Tessa and Fina, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for taking thank your time you. to talk yeah. to us. Yes, uh, we will definitely point our gang in the in the direction of the uh, community HPG page. Mm-hmm. And and you know, what, wait. Thank you so much for the good work you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Take care. On air and in the community, Legend of the Week.